In December 2015, representatives from nations across the globe will meet in Paris with one goal, limiting the rise in average global temperatures at 2 degrees Celsius by 2050 to avert tragic consequences for the planet and humankind. In less than two generations, we have to build a new world more respectful of the environment. A world already existing. We came across the ones all over the world that have initiated and invented this transition to post-carbon society. They are already living and working as we should by 2015. They are feeding the planet. They are practicing an efficient agriculture that respects the environment, optimizing cultivated areas, saving water where dryness is spreading, building new farms inside cities, inventing new foods. They are optimizing energy using renewable ones and even becoming their own energy producers. They are building homes producing more energy than consumed. They are living in smart cities where everything is designed so that residents are enjoying better daily lives while using less energy and producing less waste. They are moving around in new ways using means of transportation, collective or individual, that don't emit greenhouse gases. They are reinventing the economy because this transition will require a universal rethinking of our lifestyles, our ways of consuming. They are producing things sustainably. The industry is adapting itself in developing production methods that respect the environment. These inventors of a new world are proving that a better world is indeed possible, a world that could be a lovely place to live by 2015.